An ESD was planned in an 81-year-old man with a flat, slightly elevated lesion at the rectosigmoid junction. The lesion has a flat and smooth surface, although a depressed area is suspected in retroflexion of the endoscope. According to the Paris classification, the phenotype corresponds to a 2A plus 2C lesion. Alternatively, according to the Japanese classification, it can also be classified as a non-granular, laterally spreading tumor. Here we see that the depression is almost circular, highly suspicious for submucosal invasion. Now we start with the resection. First, we perform injection of the marginal area with hydroxyethyl starch and hyaluronic acid in retroflexion. Then the marginal cutting is started using the dual knife. This cutting is slow in order to prevent bleeding. When bleeding occurs, the bleeding spot can usually be localized by irrigating with water. A helpful trick is to push the cap near the bleeding spot in order to reduce the amount of bleeding. As you can see here, coagulation can be carefully applied with the same device used for the dissection, in our case, the dual knife. We intend to perform a hybrid dissection, namely a circumferential cutting followed by snare resection. Therefore, the circumferential cutting has to be completed first. After having cut the proximal margin in retroflexion, cutting should continue to appear in the frontal view of the endoscope. Cutting the mucosa on the folds can be more challenging due to an increased risk of perforation. Sometimes it can be useful to try a different knife when we find difficulties in completing the cutting. Here we switch to the IT Knife Nano. This is a type of knife that has been recently developed for use in the esophagus and the colon, but in this case it is a helpful device to complete the cutting on the folds. Even for the hybrid ESD technique, some trimming or initial dissection is advisable in order to facilitate the application of the snare. The next step is the injection of abundant solution in the submucosa to facilitate the correct and complete snaring of the lesion and to prevent a perforation. The snare is then applied around the previously cut mucosa. As you can see here, it is not yet possible to trap the complete neoplasia with the snare. Therefore, we have to perform some additional trimming with the IT Nano. After injecting some additional fluid, the snare is positioned again.
and the lesion is cut with the snare using blended endocut current. After polypectomy, we have to inspect the resection field carefully. There are no signs of perforation or bleeding, and the lesion was resected on block. The specimen is now retrieved with a roth net. The size of the specimen is 25 to 22 millimeters. The final histopathological diagnosis was well differentiated. Adenocarcinoma on tubular adenoma with submucosal invasion of 700 micrometers, negative margins, and no venous or lymphatic invasion.